In this video, we will go over the history of Avatar and how it ultimately became the terrifying city of Shadow Logar. If you're interested in more videos like this one, remember to subscribe. Shadow Logoth was born out of the ruins of Arathal. Arathal was one of the ten nations that formed after the breaking of the world. These ten nations formed a defense pact called the Compact of the Ten Nations, and for 800 years the nation lived in peace and society flourished. However, peace would not last. Around the year 1000, after the breaking of the world, huge armies of Trollocs emerged from the blight and struck. This marked the beginning of the Trolloc Wars. As the Trolloc armies advanced further south, the nation of Arathal found itself at the forefront of the conflict. And for many years, Arathal led by King Baldwin, fought valiantly, but eventually the nation and its king began to lose hope. King Baldwin did not think that victory over the Shadow Spawn was possible. It was at this time that a mysterious man by the name of Morty came to Arathal and he quickly became a close counselor to the King of Arathal. Mordis convinced the king that the only way to defeat the armies of the Shadow was to become more ruthless and more crueler than the Shadow itself. Soon, the citizens of Arathal adopted this new tactic, and fear and hatred started consuming the city, making them turn on each other. Eventually, the king of Manetharen, King Thorin, who was a friend of King Baldwin, grew worried over the direction his friend Baldwin and his kingdom were heading. He decided to send his son, Prince Carr, as an ambassador of the light to try and bring back Baldwin from his madness. But this was not to be. The king's counselor, Mordis, convinced King Baldwin to imprison and torture Prince Carr and his embassy. Prince Carr lost a hand during his imprisonment, but eventually managed to escape north to the borderlands. After hearing of his son's imprisonment and torture, King Thorin of Manetherin sent an army to Aretha to seek revenge on King Baldwin. But when the Manetherin army reached Aretha, they found nothing. Every single living thing within the city had mysteriously disappeared. The Manetheran army, sensing a great evil, left the city and named it Shadow Logoth, or place where the shadow waits in the old tongue. Unbeknownst to anyone, the city of Arathal had become so hateful and evil, and its people so distrusting of one another, that in one single night, they killed each other. The cruelty and tragedy of Arathal was so great that it gave birth to an evil entity called Mashadar, a black wind that consumes any living thing that comes close to it, its favorite prey being Shadow Spawn. Towards the final days of the Trolloc Wars, a shadow army made of Trollocs, Dreadlords, Dark Friends, and Merdral entered the ruins of Shadow Logoth for the night, and when the sun rose the next day, the Shadow Army did not come out. Men were sent into Shadow Logoth to figure out what had happened to the Shadow Army. The only things they found were weapons and armor, and in the walls, written in blood, pleas of help to their lord, the Dark One, to save them. Shara Loga is a place that is avoided by everyone, especially Shadow Spawn. In the daylight, people report on seeing eyes looking at them, and at night, Mashadar emerges, killing almost everyone within the city. Mortis, the one responsible for Arathal's demise, 
also roams the city trying to lure in victims and consume their souls. If you enjoyed this video, check out this other one and consider subscribing. Thank you. I'll see you in the next one.